Hello and welcome to another training session on UC. Today we're going to be looking at scheduling scene recalls. So um, I've already logged in as administrator. I'm now going to go first of all to the maintenance page which you can see we can select from the left hand list. So I'm going to press the maintenance page that takes us to a page where we're offered some further options and I'm going to select scene schedule. Okay, the first thing we see now is we see a calendar view that's come up on the web page. Uh, you'll notice that today's date, which happens to be the 11th of September 2014, is highlighted in the calendar view, shown as a grade. And you'll notice there's some other controls on the calendar at the top. The one I'm pointing at uh, on the left allows us to advance by one month or go backwards by one month and also if I hit the button in the middle it takes me to the current month that would be the month that today's date is in. So hitting that button in this instance takes us back to September 2014. Uh, on the right hand side at the top we have another way of manipulating the calendar. This allows us to also pick a month within a year's view or in fact to go forwards and backwards uh, in whole years and then pick a month within the selected year. So I can choose March 2018 for instance and now the calendar changes to that view. Let's go back to the current month so here we are back at September 2014 and now we're going to add a, a schedule. We're going to actually arrange for a scene to be recalled. Um, so let's click, let's choose September the 1st even though that's in the past. And as we do that you'll be presented with a wizard. This makes it very easy to set the schedule up. So we're offered a chance to input a description so I'm going to type in morning. We've got our start date selected already. Uh, I'm now going to um, set the time that the schedule will be come. The scene recall will happen at in the schedule. So I click. Uh, very simply now I'm going to select half past eight in the morning and I can do that one of two ways. I start off with the hours and I can either decrement the hour that's currently shown or in fact if I click in the hours box I'm offered a list of um, hours from 0 to 23 so that's 24 hour format. So let's select 8 o'clock in the morning in fact I want half past 8 so I'll go to the minutes column again I'll click on that and I just select 30 out of there. So now I've got a description for my schedule I have got a start date for my schedule and I have got a time for my schedule. Uh, we're going to select a background colour. Uh, there's two ways to do this. I can either custom select a background colour. So I can choose a colour in this manner. And you can see the colour is changing here in the picker. If I go OK, that's the colour I've now selected. It's pretty close actually to these preset ones at the bottom. Uh, or, of course, I can use a preset. So in fact, let's use a preset. So I've now selected a green background. Take the next step in the wizard and I'm going to select uh, this schedule to happen uh, on a weekly basis. It says how often do I want to repeat the schedule? Well I'm going to repeat it every single week. Uh, when do you want it to happen in the weeks? And I've got the option to choose on which days it will happen. Repeat it on Mondays and Wednesdays only. Um, on all days, no days weekends or weekdays. Well let's keep it at weekdays. I now take my next step. Now it's asking me to choose the group in which the scene is going to be recalled and I'm going to choose group 444, the private office. Uh, and I'm going to choose the scene in block 1, first scene which is the full scene so we'll leave that as it is. I press the button and instantly the calendar now is updated to show this repeating schedule happens every single weekday going forwards in time from the 1st of September 
um, and it has the word and it has the description morning. If we hover over any instance in the calendar of this particular schedule, it gives us an overview box pops up. So we can see here it is, the schedule is called morning. Um, it's going to recall the scene full in group 444. Um, this particular instance uh, is the 1st of September um, and this will actually be a weekly occurrence only on weekdays. Let's just go forward uh, in time in the calendar um, our, a whole year to September 2015 and you'll see there is the schedule again. So this schedule from the 1st of September is going forwards in time forever. Okay, let's go back into the current month and I'm just going to um, add another schedule. So to add another schedule, I simply click again within the day. I don't point at the schedule, I'm pointing just within the, the, the calendar day in the blank background. Uh, we'll set this one up to be lunch. Uh, I like my lunch at one o'clock. Uh, and we'll have a background colour of blue this time so we can distinguish between the other schedule that's there and it's going to be another weekly schedule on weekdays and this time we'll use the same group number uh, by I'm off to lunch so I'll turn my lights down to a very low setting and there we go now you can see how important it is to choose different background colours so now it's very easy to distinguish between the different schedule entries. Let's just put one more schedule in, shall we? Okay, this one I'm going to call afternoon. And so this is when I come back from lunch. Well, I have an hour for lunch. So since my lunch started at one, it will end at two o'clock. I'm going to choose yet another colour so it's easy to distinguish between the different schedules. Again, it'll be a weekly one occurring every single week. I'll choose it to happen on week or working days. Same group. And in fact, I'll go for the full scene again because I'm coming back from lunch and I want a nice bright office environment. So you can now see I've got um, three different schedules all set up and I can look at those schedules. Okay so um, let's say I've made a mistake and uh, actually I have set my schedule up, my morning schedule to start at 8.30 and in fact I wanted it at 8 o'clock. So now we will point at the schedule and click and it brings up again uh, a, a, a dialog box which is actually giving me an overview of the schedule but it gives me the ability to edit it and delete it so we'll edit the schedule and I've come straight back into the same wizard so now I'm going to say well actually I'll come into the office an hour earlier half past seven because I like to work hard and I just simply step through the wizard, I'm not going to change anything else, I finish the wizard and there we go everything's updated. The order has now changed because uh, this is the last schedule we edited but you can clearly see that in fact it will happen at half past seven in the morning as opposed to our lunch and afternoon schedules. Okay um, the other thing that I can do, and I want to show you this, is I can delete schedules very easy. So let's point at our morning schedule again. And I'm going to hit the delete key and it says, because it knows it's a repeating schedule, delete all occurrences of the schedule, are you sure? Well, I'm going to say I am sure. So let's hit delete. And in a moment or two, there we go, the calendar's updated. And it's now showing us just the two schedules, one for lunch and one for the afternoon. Um, one more thing that I want to show you in the calendar view. Uh, you'll notice that there is this um, icon in the top right corner of every single day. Uh, if I click on that, then I get 
brought up to me an overview for the whole day so I can scroll up and down the full 24 hours of the day and see all the schedule entries. The reason that this um, might be necessary is that the, if you put so many schedules in one day they can't all be displayed in the um, calendars day box so this gives you a way of examining the full 24 hours in a day and seeing all the schedules. To get out of this um, dialog you either click the button here or as an alternative just click off uh, into the background and that will also close that detailed view of the day. Okay so that gives you a, a good indication of how to set up schedules. Um, I, in fact, I will show you one more thing which I think is important. So I'm going to add another schedule here. Uh, let's call it um, T. Uh, and our start time for T is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's very British. Uh, yet again, we'll give it a different colour. Uh, why don't we give it a nice bright red colour this time uh, but this time I'm going to say repeat none so what I'm doing is I'm putting a schedule in which will happen once and only once on this date so now we go back and we'll use the same group we've used before uh, I'm going off to T uh, maybe I'll just turn the lights off and there we go so now you can see that in fact we've now got our single event happening on Monday the 1st which is T at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it's actually going to call the off scene. So I leave my desk, 3 o'clock, the lights go out, oh, time for tea. Okay, that gives you um, a very good um, overview now of how the scheduler works. As you can see it's very intuitive using a calendar based approach and the colour coding allows you to very simply track what's going on. The uh, flexibility in choosing days and how the days and weeks repeat um, allows you to set up all kinds of different events, um, allows you to um, take account of special things like public holidays or your own holidays um, and also allows you to take into account uh, working days uh, and non-working days. Thank you very much for watching. That concludes this training session on UC.